Praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shai Bahashim Harakah Kodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. In the name of the Holy Spirit, the Harakah Kodash. I would also like to give a double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, unto the true servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth. And in this doctrine unto you, I say shalom. Um, it's going to be a quick lesson. I don't know if it's going to be a quick lesson, a short lesson, but I'm just going to get into some news and prophecy. Really didn't have a set topic, but it's a lot of things going on out there that our people, Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Israelites scattered amongst these heathen nations need to be informed about. All right. This is where the prophets are where you get your news from. Okay. The prophets are the seers, which they were called seers. In the ancient world because they were able to see beforehand and tell our and warn our people of the times to come all right and the through the spirit of Yahweh we are able to read you know look at these you know the various news articles uh um, current events and understand the times that we're living in due to prophecy okay so um I just pulled up this people's people's voice uh what I pull up um Yahoo Let's go, let's go through some headlines. And first, let me start with um, let me start with this uh, Jeremiah twenty-eight and eight. Twenty-eight and eight. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So those are all bad things, and those are. All things that are associated with the end times, with the end. And, and you know, if you have eyes to see, the Lord has opened your eyes. You can see that, um, hey, war is on the rise. Great evil, all right, has always been, um, uh, you know, here in this country. But it's even, you know, more prevalent in these last days, all right, where you see the devil, Esau, coming down with great wrath. And pestilence, okay, pestilence. Uh, uh, is on the rise again, all right? I, I believe it's, uh, you know, not just the C-19, but Esau has, you know, several different types of um, uh, 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 forms of pestilence that they're going to eventually release out to the public. And I believe there was a, some type of form of pneumonia that was out there. Uh, it was reported in China. I think a, ca a case was reported in Ohio also. So there's a lot of things going on. And if you have to have eyes to see, the Lord has to spirit, open your spiritual eyes to understand and, and, and observe and, and, you know, the times that we're living in. All right, let me start with another scripture too. Um, what I say, Isaiah 6 and 9. Um, and he said, go tell this people, meaning the people, meaning the Israelites, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. They, could, they, have, they, have, they have ears, they have, they have ears they could hear, but they don't hear because they don't understand this truth. They don't understand the times that we're living in. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. They have eyes, but they can't they can't discern the times that we're living in. The, 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 the understand the um severity of these times. All right, with this devil coming down with great wrath, this devil using all kinds of sorcery and witchcraft and through false flags, through media, social media, and other different uh devices. That this, you know, this devil has, you know, set up to deceive and, and to trick you, mainly you Israelites. It says, make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with, with their heart and convert and be healed. So the Lord is the one that shut everyone's, shut all Israel's eyes for, for, for a season, for a period of time. Okay, but we're living in the times where the Lord is has quickened his elect with his spirit, all right, has called his men to prophesy. There's going to be many that are called, but few are chosen, all right? And we, under, you know, the true prophets understand that because, hey, this is the, it seems like the season of the false prophets because you have a lot of false prophets out there that's, you know, coming up with all kind of wayward doctrines. Uh, you got false prophets out there, uh, um, you know, um, uh, uh, not coming in the name of Yahweh Shai, coming in the name of, or saying our, our our Lord's name Yahweh and Yahweh Shah are just titles, which is which is off. So you're going to have a lot of more false prophets than the, the real prophets because this truth 
is only for a, 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 a remnant, a elect few. Okay. Um, so let me look at it. You know, we're going to scroll through a little bit of these articles and just show you, you know, sh filter through the spirit, this madness that Esau's coming with. It says NATO chief warns the West to prepare for bad news about reality in Ukraine. And that goes back to the, uh, um, you know, the prophets prophesying about a, a, a war. All right. Yahweh Shai spoke of war, rumors of war. And the Ukraine conflict with Russia, that was pretty much the, the you know, uh, uh, the beginning of the end uh, of, you know, not almost even say the beginning of the end, but it was a great, uh, a major step into World War Three. And of course, you know, the conflict was going on with um, Palestine and, 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 and the uh, state of Israel over there. So these are all, these are all, um, these are all major steps towards that, you know, that, that world, worldwide conflict, which is World War Three. All right, um, let me see. Top Cardinal warns mass migration being used to abolish national identities. Um, and, you know, the migration coming into America, it's going to, um, they're going to use that as a device to push this digital ID. All right, digital identification where they're going to give the reason of, you know, we have so many uh, migrants entering into this country. And, of course, they're going to use, more than likely use a false flag attack to uh, uh, justify the, um, the the digital IDs, okay? The digital ID is is a, a major step towards that MOTB, all right? Which is the you know the second to the second prophecy to World War Three, all right? The the two major prophecies, World War Three and, and the you know the implant the 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 mandatory implementation, all right, of the uh, the MOTB, all right? And there, like I said, they, they're using this migration, this mass migration, of course, you know, they're going to use that as a, as a device to say that, you know, we don't know who in this, who's in this country uh, due to the uh, mass migration. We need to, um, we need to, uh, well, due to the mass migration in a, bre in a breach in DMVs or the national database, we need to track everyone or we need to identify everyone. Therefore, we need everyone to convert to this, um, this new system, which is the uh, digital identification. All right. Well, like I said, we know what comes with that. All right. And this is just some blasphemy ass shit. The world's first tampon for men blast as an insult to women. Tampons for men. Men don't have menstrual cycles where they need tampons. All right. But this is the confusion and the madness that is pushed here in America, pushed by America throughout the world. All right. These are the philosophies that are pushed throughout throughout you know, throughout the world by Babylon. Okay. This, this is a wicked and perverse place that we live in. All right. And, and that, that, that would promote, that would even, you know, even bring up the, you know, this, all right. This is, this is, you know, this is a, we're living in a world of, uh, of darkness, of madness. Um, let me grab this Jeremiah, uh, 50 and, um, Um, let me see. Let me see if it's 49. Um, there we are. Real quick, let me try to find the scripture. I'll probably be looking right at it uh, before I look it up. If I just look it up, I'm wasting time. Fifty one. I was uh, okay. This is uh, Jeremiah fifty one and seven. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand and had made. All the earth drunken, the nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. And all the nations have drunk of the wines, the philosophies, the witchcraft of Babylon. And this is and this is an example of it right here, even though this is more than likely pushing America, but wicked shit like this, men, men tampons, uh, uh, uh is, is this that's part of the, the philosophies of Babylon. That's part of the New World Order agenda, all right, to push a uh, 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 transgenderism throughout the world to make it okay, all right, to normalize it, all right, to so so 
So no one will question it. All right. No, you know, people just go along and get along. This is this. People don't realize that we're living in the regeneration of the Roman Empire where, where, you know, the, they were saying to Rome, where do when in Rome, do as the Romans. OK, so if, if, if everyone's being a, 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 a mo and a freak, hey, we, that's, that, that, that must be the norm. We must got to do that. OK, but hey, the world is waiting. You know, hey, Jake is waking up to the wickedness of Esau. That's, that's just blasphemy. All right, um, let me see. George Soros planning summer uh, Delhi riots ahead of 2024 election. Of course. All right. Hey, 2024 is going. Hey, things may possibly really kick off. All right, because the in the, the the in order to, you know, I would say in order to push Esau's agenda, you know, they, they, they put like this: Esau really doesn't want Trump back in office, but hey. The people realize that how effed up the country is with Biden. Either it doesn't matter who's the president, but you know Esau is going to pull some strings, man. Where this election may not go through because you know even even there are even Democrats that don't that don't want Biden back in there. All right, so something's going to happen. All right, so ex expect a lot of shit to happen in two thousand and twenty four. Okay, hey, we, there may be another pandemic. There may be race riots. But all these things that are spoken of in these, you know, headlines, all right, that they're trying to foreshadow or is spoken of 2000, over 2000 years ago in the, by the prophets. All right. Um, there was another uh, one here I wanted to read. Uh, oh, shit, I'm all the way up here. Let me go back to, the, to today. Uh, look at this. Can, Canada uh, euthanizing thousands of citizens with low credit scores every week. Media blackout. All right, so it, it, and then this goes along with the MOTB. It goes along with the social credit score. All right, if you don't, if this is a low credit score. I, I, I'm I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't think they implemented any type of uh, um, uh, credit social credit system yet. But that's what that's what it's boiling down to. China already has a social credit system where you know if if you don't have a certain if you're you don't have a certain credit a social credit score okay you can't basically participate in society all right so they want everyone to really be as robots okay you can't they don't want you to have an opinion if you voice your opinion your social credit score will be dropped to you know pretty much nothing all right where you won't be able to go in certain stores you may not be able to drive or whatever you may you're going not you're not going to eventually be able to participate in society and then once they implement that MOTB that's it all right you're literally cut off it says a nation that that once prided itself of being being one minded and tolerant now has a regime that is euthanizing citizens with low credit scores. And the reality on the ground is so terrifying. The media have been have been ordered to cover up the story before we dive in. Uh, da, 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 let's see. Uh, the Trudeau, the Trudeau re regime has ordered the Canadian media to cease from cease and desist reporting on story that threatened to expose the darker heart of the devil's population agenda for all to see. And eventually they're using specific tactics. Uh, I'm going to read a little bit more into this as uh, far as euthanizing people that have low credit scores, but this is all a part of their depopulation agenda. All right. That what the Georgia Guidestone said before they, uh, you know, so somehow mysteriously destroyed them was that um, to keep uh, uh, the population under 500 million. So Esau got a lot of killing to do, all right? The, you know, the the, the certain uh, jabs that they're pushing out, uh, uh, pandemics or whatever it may be, hey, that's not um, that's not moving fast enough. So Esau, hey, they gotta, they're going to speed things up. Hey, Trudeau has a history of getting uh, getting the complaint Canadian mean, compliant, excuse me, Canadian mainstream media to issue total media blackouts on political damaging stories. Check out the exclusive report on the media blackout regarding why he left his teaching job halfway through the school term. Okay, let's get to the let's get to the point of this euthanizing. Um, in October, a jaw-dropping story emerged on how five years into an infuriating infuriating battle to obtain stair lift for her home, Canadian arm army veteran and Paralympian Christine Guther found out that Canadian state had decided to euthanize her. 
It is now so easy for a person to be euthanized in Canada that Canadian state-run socialized health system is euthanizing sick and, and poor rather than treating them. So they just putting you to death. All right, they, they, they what they call a useless eater. All right, you're not contributing to society. All right, you're going to be put to death. All right, and, that, that, and these type of draconian measures are going to be brought here to America. All right, let me grab this real quick. Um, I'm going to be going jump, jumping back and forth between uh, precepts and, and these articles, you know. So, excuse me, bear with me once for a second. This is uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens. And ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And, and and the devil, this devil Esau, you have to understand how this devil works. He's going to eventually, he's kind of warming up, all right, to come down with that great wrath. He's going to start, start, start low, and then eventually he's going to be, you know, he's going to be all out, all right. He 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 don't got a, he knows that he has but a short time. So, yeah, the, the, the pandemics don't work, uh, you know, euthanizing the public that, that, that aren't uh, contributing to society, you know, certain different, you know, devices that they use not working. That's when they're going to start rolling shit out. That's when they're just going to start, you know, killing people. That, that's how this devil, that's how this devil gets down. He, the trooper says he is not satisfied with blood. So blood shall pursue him. Man, this devil's not satisfied with blood. Ezekiel, um, not 37, 35. Let me go back a few chapters. Ezekiel 35 and 3. Um, is it 3? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Um, I'll start at uh, 2. Son of man, set thy face against against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. It's not literally talking about the mountain of Mount Seir. It's talking about the people. The people of Mount Seir are the Edomites, Esau, Edom, Okay. And say unto him, unto it, thus saith the Lord, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. All right, so that, that's one of the, the, the main sins of Esau, shedding the blood, the blood of Israel, shedding the blood of the children of Israel, the apple of the Most High's eye, okay, by force, by rape, by robbery, by murder, by thievery, by lying, okay? They've they done all these things, you know, ruled the world in wickedness, conquered the world in wickedness, and but the main thing they did was put their hands on the children of Israel. Verse 6, Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood. Even blood shall pursue thee. So, hey, this devil is not satisfied with blood, okay? He, hey, hey, you know, he, he he's going to go all out in these last days, and he's showing it, okay? Canadian euthanizing. Uh, Carl Schwab, agenda to normalize state of euthanasia, supported by Trudeau, has real-world consequences. People are now dying against their will, joining the long list of millions of people murdered by far-left governments in history. The history uh, books tell you that the Soviet Gulag state murdered 61 million citizens. Mao Communist China, uh, Ant Hill murdered 35 million Chinese. The Nazi genocide state murdered up to 20 million people. Okay, we know all about that, but Hey, these ain't. These, this is not shit compared to the numbers that Esau is uh is, is trying to do, okay. And I'm not gonna read all the rest of it, but you you understand that what well, what the agenda is, all right? The agenda is not just Canada. The agenda is not America. The agenda is globally, okay. Where you know Esau is going. To, and, and think about it is, Esau wants you to take this MOTB before they got to get their hands there. If they if you voluntarily take it, if you voluntarily bow down to the image of the beast they don't got to get their hands there they don't they could just they they could just you know you know get to get to their meet their quota and everyone else gonna go all right it says uk telegraph bombshell means have uh people now have vades what is vades maybe they maybe they talking a quote quote uh millions of people rejected the mra jabs have gone and developed acquired immune deficiency what is this? Damn. Let me look at this is. 
Vades. Sudden attack of... Hey, no, 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 no. That's Raid. Hold on. What is Vades? Maybe it's some type of form of Vades. Let's see. Vades is not real. I can do syndrome, experts say. Studies show Pfizer... Let me see. What is... Vaccine acquired immune deficiency. Weakening your immune system. Of course. All right. When, when is this devil? Whenever, whenever, like I always say, when has a doctor, okay, has ever cured anyone? Okay. And the word doctor simply means to falsify. Like you doctor up in a, a, a document, you, you, and that's all they do. These doctors, they, they, they don't cure anyone. All right. They're not curing. And if they are, they're not curing you with herbs and things that are natural. They're curing you with, with, with uh, uh, chemicals, all right, so-called medicines. All right, let me grab this. Um, Job. Is it Job 13? Uh, and 4. But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are physicians of no value. No value. Esau, Esau is a physician of no value, all right? He's, he's just a, uh, uh, um, you know, he, he's just... A, a, a bullshit artist, okay? Elon Musk accuses Disney of aiding with abetting. Yeah, all right. You got to understand, Elon Musk. He may call certain things out, but he's playing both sides, man. All right. He he's a he's nothing more than a puppet, just like this guy right here, Bill uh, Kill Gates is nothing more than a puppet for the uh, 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 the elites. Okay. How, how do you think Elon Musk? You know he. they I'm I'm pretty sure he he his family has money. He came into some money or whatever. He was in, he inherited a certain amount of, of an, you know of money through his inheritance. And but how does he think he's able to finance you know all these uh, projects, uh, uh, SpaceX, and you know build these um, you know uh, 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 factories all over? All right, the 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 the, the um, elites fund these programs. Okay. All right, so his guy, he may call out certain things, but he's playing both sides. So don't get it twisted, all right? He, he, he's not a whistleblower. He's just, you know, he, he's a puppet for Esau. Florida Surgeon General whistles deadly DNA fragments found in M mRNA. Of course, we are reading, you know, brothers did a million lessons on, uh, uh, on, the, on, that, on the jab. Um, hey. They put a limit on everything. It's time for carbon passports to limit how often we can travel abroad. Okay, so they're putting they, they're putting a limit. They're going to eventually limit the, the the world to fifteen minute cities. Okay, where your everything that you need within your reach is going to be fifteen minutes away. All right, they 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 don't want people traveling abroad no more. Okay, and eventually, if you're allowed to, you're going to have to have that 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 you know. First, it was a uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, um, um, I would say a jab passport. Okay, but then eventually you're gonna have to have that um, that MOTB. All right. Let's go down. Biden walks away when confronted about Hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so he'll deploy U.S. troops to fight Russia and a hundred billion dollars in Ukraine. You know, yeah. Okay, hey, that's beautiful. I hope that's Lord willing that happens. All right, uh, Canadian government refused to explain 135 percent spike in unspecified deaths following. Yeah, yep. Okay, that, hey, that's that's a, that's a part of these end times. It's gonna be a lot of deaths. It's gonna be mass death. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's gonna be more confusion because you you gotta understand we're living in these last days. The confusion, the wickedness is gonna be at an all time high. All right, it, it, it's it's you know the shit that we see in now, and it, 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 the shit that we see in now is wicked as hell. It, it it vexes your spirit. But three months, six months, a year from now, if we if, if we if we still here, it's gonna be, be even more vexing. Okay, this 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 place is, you know, this place takes wickedness to a whole nother level. All right, this is um Isaiah sixty and sixty and one. Arise, shine, for the light is come and the glory. Of the Lord is risen upon thee. The light is this truth. The light is Yahweh Shai. This light is this word. Okay? And the light is shining. And the light is shining on those that want to, you know, that, that 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 are not in darkness. All right? But two-thirds of our people, they want to remain gross darkness. Okay? The, this world, these heathens, these Edomites, they're in darkness. But our people, 
they want to stay in darkness with the with, with, with the devil, with the enemy. Okay? For behold, darkness shall cover the earth. All right, that, that's going back to the philosophies, the witchcraft of Esau. All right, these and peep and gross darkness to people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. All right, and that in his glory and his in the light is going to shine upon the elect. All right, especially in these last days, you're going to see who has his truth and who doesn't. All right, this is the book of John, uh, three, yeah, three, and um, um, what is it, 23? Let me see, here it is, 21. Um, yeah, uh, John 3 and 20. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. So, hey, if, if you can't understand this truth, you can't you, you can't see the light you, because your your deeds are evil, okay? And, and, and a lot of our people they don't want to be corrected. They don't want to see the, the the truth for what it is. That the so-called white man's the devil. That the no, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the children of Israel, are special people unto the Lord. All right, that that's that's too heavy for our people. Our people want to stay in darkness. Our people want to remain to be black. Our people want to remain to be uh, 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 Mexican or Puerto Rican and, and Native American and indigenous and all this bullshit. They don't want to come into the light. All right. They want to remain in darkness. They want to be status quo in America. That's why two thirds of Israel, they got to be put to death. They got to be put down. All right. Like you put down a dog uh, that got rabies. These niggas got to be put down, man, because they just won't get right. All right. Um, verse 21. But he that doeth but he that doeth truth cometh to the light, and that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in the Most High. Okay, so those that come into the light, they come into the truth. All right, hey, the, the deed, the, the righteous deeds are going to be made manifest. All right, unto your Habashim Yahushua. Let me grab this last one in Revelations um, three, three and uh, Maybe it's not a revelation. Maybe, maybe it's two. Let me see the first two. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it'll come back to me. I don't know. Let me see. Let me, I don't think it's a verse one. There was another one that, that, that spoke on the light. The light, you know, the, the light is truth. Uh, I don't know. Will it come back to me? Uh, let me see a few different articles. Um, <laughs> Fully jabbed Montreal mayor Valerie Plant collapsed mid speech. You're going to see a lot more of that. Okay. You're going to see, like, you've already seen these things happen. Uh, but it's not being, it's not being, uh, uh, of course, um, put out in the media. Okay. These things are swept under the rug. All right. They, they, cause like Biden said, uh, COVID is over pretty much. All right. But not, not the effects. Mind control devices will be common by 20, 2040s, experts say. They already got this, okay? Mind control devices, you got people lined up to get that, uh, uh, to be guinea pigs for the, um, what is that, neural link thing. And, and you're going to have more people do it, all right? And, and I wouldn't be surprised if they have some Super Bowl commercial um, that's going to be linked to the, uh, 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 the MOTB somehow, all right? Um, let's see. Let me see if there's anything on here in uh, news on uh, Yahoo. A lot of this shit is folly, but, you know, we got to bring out the truth. We got to, you know, read between the lines and understand the, the prophecies. The UNLV. Two UNLV prep freshers killed in UNLV campus shooting. All right, that, that, that's it's nothing more than another uh, a, a psyop by Esau, you know, to to you know, 
it's 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 something going on, man. And, and you know, they ain't. It's going to be eventually an uprising when they come and try to take these people's guns away. But it's going to happen. All right, these things are prophesied. All right, the uprising of the people, and it's several factors that are going to cause uprising. Not just these draconian laws that Esau's coming with, but what, what shit the uh, the lack of food, the lack of bread. Okay, the lack of uh, resources, the lack of medicines, all right, the lack of work, all right. You know, they, they're not telling you what the true uh, unemployment rates are out there, how, you know, the job scarcity that's going on in America. This is, Reve excuse me, uh, Second Ezra 9 and um, 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, and those signs represent the prophecies, all right, prophecy it is a major part of this truth. Prophecy is, it is, is, is really jumping off the page. All right, you have the scripture said you have to be occupied in prophecy. Okay, prophecy is to say before. Okay, and, and we're telling you of the things that are happening. All right, the prophets through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. We now we didn't figure out we didn't figure out this truth on our own. Our apostles, uh, uh, the elders, the men on down, we didn't figure this out on our own. The Lord put His spirit upon the men. All right. And, and, and to, to seek out these mysteries, to um, understand the times, uh, you know, and, and, you know, when the, when the spirit of the Lord is on you, you're going to do what the Lord wants you to do. OK, the Lord could have anyone uh, uh, prophesied to the children of Israel, but he picked the men that he picked with the true doctrine to, to do it. OK. And, and, you know, like they say, don't hey, they our people mainly get mad because it's coming from us. If it was coming from the so-called white man. OK, if it was coming from some college professor or some, you know, a uh, 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 um, slick ass nickel dime slick, uh, slick talking preacher, they'd be all ears. They These niggas would be prepared. These niggas be prepared for the MOTB, Esau's great wrath, pestilence, everything else. But it's coming from the prophet, the true prophets. That's not going to dress in, you know, a uh, uh, nice apparel, you know, uh, 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 um, you know, have flashy cars and private jets and have all kind of degrees and stuff they're not going to listen they're not going to take they're not going to take heed all right but everyone's been warned the warning is the warning has gone out throughout the four winds okay and, and the closer and closer we get that that the closer and closer we get that means the elect is is being sealed all right so a hey, say say you know uh uh uh, uh um, like this whenever that motb is implemented that the elect is sealed and, and the and, and the and the floodgates of these plagues is going to is is going to just is going to be open, all right. Verse two: Thou shalt then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people, okay, and you're gonna have, you have uproars at a, at a at a minimum level right now, but eventually these uproars of the people are going to be are going to be you know it, it's going to be an issue. It's going to be a problem where they eventually going to have to call in. National Guards, Gerger troops, all these migrants that came into the country that that people are um, all these migrants that came in the, in the country from the south border. Those are troops. All right. A brother just um, did a video where they said um, they gave those the migrants. They said they would make them citizens if they enrolled into the uh, if they enrolled in the um, in the army or in the American uh, military. So what do you think they're going to do? OK, yeah, I'll enroll and be a, become a citizen and they're going to give them all these, you know, the the the, uh, the benefits of being a, a soldier. But at the same time, you know, and they're going to have eventually they're going to have have a job to, um, to do. OK, and, and that job is eventually going to require, uh, uh, you know, taking people out at will. OK, taking people out on command. OK, that that's that great wrath that that's the mass death that's coming here to America that no one that no one's, you know, no one but the prophets are speaking of. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, Thou shalt well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were from that were before thee, even from the even from the beginning. So all these things were manifest. All these things were prophesied from the beginning. Excuse me, through the prophets. Okay. And let me see if there's any more articles. That's. Um, I think I'll start it here. Yeah. Let me scroll down here. What was this December 5th? It was two days ago. Let me see if there's anything more. Leak video Rockefeller predicted uh, 19B population agenda. Global elite may use military force to achieve climate. Yeah. Um, yeah, 
There's a lot of confusion out there, too. That's why you have to be circumspect. Okay, in these last days, you have to be circumspect. Circumspect meaning look around, all right, being attentive, okay? Not 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 just walking like, you know, you know, walking through your day, walking through your life, uh, uh, um, not alert, not knowing what the hell is going on. This is Ephesians chapter 2, and um, let me see. Um, where's that scripture at? Ephesians 2. Maybe it's three. Maybe I'm one second. Nice and two. Walk circumspectly. Let me look it up. Bear with me one second. Ephesians 5. I'm way off. Ephesians 5. And um, I'll start at 14. Wherefore, where he, wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead. And Hamashiach shall give thee light. See that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the times because the days are evil. We're coming into evil, evil days. So we got to walk with, with, you know, wary, unwilling to take risk. Uh, let me see another word for it. Uh, synonyms. Dictionary. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. It's in the, let me look it up in the um, walk circumspect. Because it means to be alert, all right? You can't, you can't, you know, just, just, you, you see things in the news and just think they, oh, it's not a big deal, okay? Or you, you, you know, you have to be alert and attentive, all right? Because it's, like the scripture said, I'm going to read uh, first, first Peter 5 and 8. It says, be sober, be vigilant, be, have a sober mind, be vigilant, okay? Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking who he may devour. All right, so just that, just that one instant, you, your, 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 your mind is taken away from what the hell is going on, and, and you caught up in some bullshit, okay? So you got to be attentive and be alert, all right? You have to, you know, be able to, you know, walk in the spirit, all right? And it's hard sometimes when you got all these distractions and all this bullshit going on, but hey, the hell with this world and the hell with these people. If they're not in this truth, if they're not uh, 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 prophesying, if they're not, you know, uh, um, you know, calling on the name of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, the hell with them. All right, because hey, these people, these people don't understand what the hell is coming. All right, these people don't understand. You know, we're living in a, a, a times where, you know, like, like the scripture says, there's a time that has never been since there was a nation. Let me grab that Daniel twelve and one. It says, at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time, and and at that time. By people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And that time is speaking of Jacob's trouble, all right? Not Esau's trouble, not Moab's trouble, Jacob, all right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's the time of trouble for you, okay? Because we went off as a nation, all right? So, hey, we going to, Israel, even the elect got to go through it. It's going to get that final ass whooping from the Lord and, and, and you know, and, and, and the world's going to watch, all right? The world is going to go through it too, all right? But it's going to be harder on us because we're at the bottom, all right? We're the one with the least money. We're the one ones with the least resources, okay? We're the ones that's living check to check. We're at the bottom right now because we're under the curses because we went, because we went off um, and, and, and against the Lord, all right? We began to worship false idols and, and worship uh, uh, deities and follow after the ways of these heathens instead of following after the ways the law says and commandments the Lord had given to us. All right. So um, that's all I had. I just wanted to go through some, you know, read through some articles, some headlines and bring some precepts out, you know, that, you know, relates to those, you know, specific headlines. 
So, uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shad, Bahashim, Abakakurash. Shalom.